Hi guys, welcome to Core Artisan Lab. This is our fourth video for Laravel blogging website. And in this video, we will discuss about the database connectivity and we will create our database models or you can say tables for our blogging website. So in our previous video, we have discussed about that how Laravel works, how Laravel request and response cycle works. And we have discussed about the controller routes and we have also created a hello world application which I have which I have opened here so this uh, we have created this in our third video now in this video we will discuss about the database models so I have started my development server here you can see that I have started the development server now we will discuss we will create the models so the first model will be our the first schema will be our user in which we will save the users, users data and the field will be name, email, password. So this user model comes with Laravel by default. When we install Laravel, then it, it comes with Laravel. Uh, now the next model is category. So category, we will create this category model with the title, detail and image field. And then we will create the post model. Model here, here model represents the database table. So if I'm say if I'm saying model then then uh, it, it means I'm saying about the table. So in the post model in the post model we will create the user category title thumbnail image full image detail and tags field. So the user and category field will be relational field because our post belongs to the category and belongs to the user. And then we will create the comments model in this uh, uh, in this model we will create the user post and comment field user and uh, the comment user and post belongs to the post model and user model and the command in this comment uh, field we will save the comment data so these are the uh, database table that we are going to create and the first thing we will we will see that how to uh, connect with the database in laravel so here I will I am going to open the env file dot env file which is a root. So I will open the dot env file and then here the database I will change the database. So the first thing I will create database. So I'm, uh, I have opened the PHP my admin. So here you can see if you have started your exam server it will uh, it will uh, you can open the local host slash PHP my admin and here I will create the database. So L8 blog okay and now we will create the database here name it l8 l8 blog and the username will be root and the password password is empty so by default password is, password is empty on localhost so this is uh, now i have connected the database so now i want to do so laravel comes with uh, user default so let's migrate this. So we will run the php artisan migrate command. Okay. So this is taking some seconds. php artisan yeah. So migration has been uh, created successfully so let's see on database so here you can see we have a table field job migrations and uh, password resets and users so, so the mainly we will use the users table and in all these table these are the uh, these are the uh, laravel settings tables so we will not uh, use these tables we will use the users table and when we will we will open this then it will show the name, email, email verified, uh, these fields. So, so where we have created, uh, Laravel created these fields. So go to the database folder and go to the migrations. So here you can see we have a users table and when we will open this, so these are the fields that we, uh, that Laravel, Laravel created in users model. So similarly, we will create the category model uh, with migration. So this is the migration file and uh, and here is the model so if I'll go to the blog app so if I go to the models and here we have a 
users dot php and this is a model that we have created that laravel has been created for us so this is the model so similarly we will create the category model with migration and uh, all all those models that we have discussed so let's do this so now i will i will close this all and i have uh, I, have, I have stopped the server now i will go to the php artisan make model category and with the category i will pass uh, m flag so this m flag will create the migration so let's see that so model created successfully and created a migration so go to the so here you can see we have a migration created now we have a we have a two fields by default this id will represent the primary key and this timestamps represent the uh, this timestamps create the two two fields in the table categories so the fields is uh, created at and updated at so we will see when we will migrate this so let's see we now i'm going to create the so i have a title uh, i'm creating this title and now i'll create the detail i'll create the detail and now i'll create the image so i will keep all the all the uh, fields as a string because uh, in the title i will save the string in the detail i will also save the string uh, you can see in the detail we can save our text and the text uh, length will be uh, like uh, 300 and in the image i will save the image name so it will be a string so now now what we will do we will php artisan migrate so when we run this command then it will create the categories table so let's see that so if i go to the database and so here we have a categories table and in this title detail image and if i go to the structure then it will create the where and text and whatever we have to find that in the migration file it has been created here in in this uh, uh, database so now similarly we will create the uh, post model and uh, we will create the uh, comments model so let's and also uh, our model created in the in the models folder here we have a category category model so if you don't want to uh, timestamp then here what we will do here if you don't want to uh, keep the timestamps uh, field then what we what you want then what you will do here you will do protected protected dollar timestamp timestamps equal to false then uh, this will not add the uh, two two fields in the table uh, created at updated at here you can see we have a credit and updated so this by default adds uh, if uh, we have created this migration so if you don't want to add then you can say it uh, it will be false okay so now <clears throat> so we have created our migration and we have created our model so similarly we will create this uh, for our uh, post model so here we will do i will do here for post model so post it has been created now i'll i'll go to the i'll go to the migration file and in the migration file i'll open the post and here i'll define table integer because i want to add category so it will be cat id because my post belong to some category i will not some my post belongs to a, a, a category so here i will add so i'll see what are the fields so the user so i'll put the user id and the second field will be our category id category not category it will be cat id and similarly we have created in the category we will create the string and here 
title thumbnail image full image details and tags so the first will be title and the title thumbnail thumb and this will be a full image okay this will be a full image and then the detail so it will be a text field so detail and the next one the last one is tags so here we have a tags okay so now we have created the post uh, migration setting now i will migrate this php artisan migrate okay so migration has been successful so let's see in our database so i'll go to the database and here we have created the post model so we have a structure we have a user id category id title thumb full image detail and tags now the last one is our comment section so we will create the comment model so what we will do here we will create the comment model so comment okay and uh, we will open the comments and the, in the comments we have a uh, i will copy from this so i will copy this from here and here i will copy this from the user id and our comments also belongs to post id so what we will do here string uh, it will not string it will be a text and in this we will comment so this is comment that uh, we that uh, who is submitted by this user id and post id that which uh, which uh, uh, that which belongs uh, this comments belongs to which post okay so now <clears throat> let's migrate this so i will migrate this with this command php artisan migrate so i have migrated to this so now let's see in the database we have a database and in the so we have a com comments table now and in the comments table we have user id post id and comment so we have created the all uh, tables uh, and models in our for our blogging website so if something is missing then we will cover in the upcoming videos and we will cover uh, along with videos so i have created uh, the i hope i have created all the uh, tables with fields so thank you thank you for watching this video uh, in this video I just want to show you how to create models and how to connect with the database and how to uh, uh, run the migrations so thank you thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please subscribe this channel for uh, regular updates and like this video thank you so much thank you